Hey there, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. Dan here with Plant Abundance and I'm out here with my wife Alice. Hello everyone. We're out in the backyard food forest once again and we wanted to bring you along as we go about a harvest of some opo gourds or calabash gourds. Call it opo in the Philippines, opo. right honey? Yeah, opo, not opo. Yeah. Opo? Opo. Opo. We call it opo. Opo. Yeah. Okay. There are two kinds. Opo is vegetable and opo means yes, like respect for the older people. Is that Tagalog? Yes. Okay, that's good to know. That, that's an easy <laughs> one for me to remember. <laughs> so for me, the opo or calabash gourd is one of my favorite vegetables to grow. How about you? Yes. I, I would put it in my top three actually, and I grow a lot of different vegetables, so that's a pretty high rating. But basically, it's just a low maintenance, very easy to grow crop, doesn't require much water, uh, really don't need to tend to it hardly at all. And throughout the growing season, throughout the spring and summer months, it'll just continue to vine out and put off an abundance of these smaller gourds, which are like squash. Um, Alice compares it to a chayote squash, which I think is a good comparison. That's what they taste like if you've ever had one. Very mild in flavor, versatile in the kitchen. Uh, there's so many different ways you can prepare them and because of the flavor being mild they're adaptable to so many different recipes we especially like to throw them in our soups soups are one of our favorite things to actually uh, make in the kitchen with crops from our garden because you can get really creative and make some really good creations so anyway today we're out here we're going to harvest some of the mature gourds that we let go to full maturity so that we could collect seeds from them and uh, we've got several growing, some rather large ones. I've shown them in my previous videos, but come with us and we'll go about our harvest and I'll talk a little bit more about this amazing crop. Okay, let's join us. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Okay, let's join us <laughs> to harvest the opal. All right, let's start over at this one. This one uh, was a vine that was growing up a tomato cage. We had a tomato plant growing in here. Maybe that's why you do it. Uh, yeah, this is a commercial sized tomato cage that I, I put together using some concrete mesh. So go ahead, honey. But it could not get out here, so I will pick up. Oh, here, let me help you. And isn't that beautiful? I mean, this is just a beautiful ornamental to have growing in your garden as well. There's one. Here we got another one. It's your turn. Okay. Which is bigger? This or this? <laughs> Definitely the gourd. <laughs> Here's a smaller one. One of the vines took off, started jetting up this tree. So, so makes a great vining crop. I actually shot a video in the summer that I was going to talk about this being a good vining layer in a food forest design. And that video never made it up for some reason. Go ahead, you can grab it. Smaller ones. That one nestled itself under some of these perennial greens growing. There's another one down there? Oh yeah, it's a big one. Might be able to just pull it out. I have to pull. It's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some more that we're growing up and around a tomato cage. These ones are already begun drying out. So 
one. So maybe you're gonna need some help, aren't you? So maybe you can get on the top. Okay. You want me to try? Hold on. So strong, right? <laughs> <laughs> so strong she drops it. You having fun posing for the camera? Yeah. So here is our harvest that we just pulled. Pretty amazing. And some other things I wanted to touch on as far as this vegetable goes is it has many other uses. Throughout history, these gourds were used to make things like ladles, water bottles, smoke pipes, um, instruments, just general artwork. You can make bird houses out of them. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Uh, we originally started out with a few seeds that were given to us by a family friend, and we believe those seeds originate in the Philippines. So. This is, uh, I don't believe, a unique variety, but it's definitely worked well for us. I'm going to do my best now to let these continue to dry out and collect those seeds and hopefully be able to offer those up to you guys, anyone who wants to grow this variety here. And let me show you what a fully mature gourd that's been dried out looks like. And I'll also crack it open and show you what the dried seeds look like. So here's a gourd that I collected from last year. This is completely dried out now. Can hear all the seeds in there and uh, you can just go over this with a brillo pad a steel wool pad um, or even just a sponge and let this uh, soak in water for a little bit and all of those little spots will come right off and it'll clean up really nice i've made a video in the past showing how i've turned some of these into birdhouses now this is a more elongated version but we grow another type uh, that has more of a like large pear shape and um, I turned some of those into birdhouses. Let me show you what that looks like. And pretty self-explanatory. Just put a hole uh, right at the top, small hole. Put some wire through that to hang it up. It's also got some drainage holes in the bottom. And nothing's taken uh, home in this one yet. But uh, we'll see how that goes. I could probably put this in a better location and keep it a little bit more stable. I think that would be helpful. All right, well, I'll cut this one open so you guys can see what the seeds look like. See how easily these things clean out. It's like a vessel, like a wood vessel. They almost look like teeth. There's well over a hundred seeds in just the one gourd. Something else I want to mention quickly that I've talked about in previous episodes is that if you're growing these and harvesting them to eat, you want to pick them when they're much younger. About 10 to 12 inches is good, about the size of a large zucchini. And you want to get them before those seeds start to really mature. Younger seeds are fine, but if you let them go a bit too long, the flesh inside gets a little hard. It's not as palatable. But there you have it, the calabash gourd, also known as opo in the Philippines. One of our favorite vegetables to grow, delicious. 
easy, low maintenance, low water, many different uses other than using it as an edible. Look into it. And so with that, hope you all are having a great day. Until next time, this is Dan and Alice from PlantAbundance.com. Wishing you all a great rest of your day. We'll be talking to you again soon. Take care. Bye.